Hi, um, my name is John. This is uh, video number five. I uh, had a pro program a PIC microcontroller using PIC Basic Pro, uh, a PIC Micro 16F877, and an LCD display. Um, going to show you how to wire it up uh, for in circuit serial programming, so rather than keep on unplugging the chip and everything, use, oh, before I move the camera, just see a static time and random text uh, and then scrolling text on the top one. Important thing with these controllers and using PIC Basic Pro and PIC Micros, these particular ones they're parallel interface so all the data comes in down four or eight lines uh, and they're the Hitachi, let me see, uh, Hitachi compatible controllers. I think I've got it up on the website, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, right that's the clocks. I'll say clock, yeah, that one's in a nice Perspex housing I made a few months ago. That's the um, the board, 16F877. Uh, I've got a pot there just to adjust the contrast for different size displays. Right, let me get you up on the screen. Lock this camera off. Right, this is um, Wikipedia. Just uh, type in the Hitachi controllers, the HD44780. You'll find most of the LCD displays on eBay. The 16 pin uh, for hobbyists have got this compatible controller, and that's what um, works well with the PIC Micro, or sorry, PIC Micro, PIC Basic Pro, PIC Basic Pro programming with a PIC Micro, uh, PIC Micro 2 or PIC Micro 3. I'll show you how to wire them up later. Anyway, Hitachi, look at that controller, that's what you're after. Scroll down the page, 16 pins, tells you how to wire them up. Can't dwell on this too long, you can obviously search it yourself. Can't dwell on it too long, you'll um, I'll lose, the, uh, lose the video, run out of time. Well, a quick look on eBay, there's all the various colours you can get. Uh, and you'll see you're only paying like £4.80, I think you can get them for about three, just over £3. Some dealers in this country as well, it's pretty handy. Well, as I said, we're using PIC uh, Basic Pro. You have to define what pins you're using to get the uh, controller working. So if you just basically copy this. But uh, what I would strongly recommend, if I move the camera up so you can see the whole screen, use the help files. So help, help topics, type in, LCD. So type in LCD list topics. Well, LCD out. That's the function we're going to be using in PIC Basic Pro. Double click on that. Well, it tells you various things you need to know about programming the the, uh, the LCD. Um, you'll we'll go through these later. Dollar FE one clears the display. Dollar FE two return home beginning of first line, etc. etc. At the bottom, gives you a brief introduction to the uh, the LCDs and PIC Basic Pro and what you need to do, defining uh, what parts and what they de define, like uh, define LCD command US 2000. Uh, I don't know if you can see that down the bottom, can you? Just down here, um, command. Uh, US, that's a delay time in microseconds, so it's command microseconds 2000. It's a 2000 microsecond delay for the display, that sort of stuff. Uh, always use the help files if you're not sure. And you see at the top there's LCD in. Uh, what you need to do when you start reading from an LCD. Well, I'll shut this help file down. Uh, this is the demo you were looking at on the small display. Just zoom in there, make sure you're focused. Right, so define uh, data reg, uh, the enable port, um, register select uh, zero, so yeah, port E0 on the U, 16F877, which is actually pin eight. Uh, I've got an I is a variable byte, B2 is a variable byte, that's for the scrolling text. Once you've done these, you, these, uh, what's it, one, two, three, four, five, I don't know, six defines or whatever it is. 
uh, at, make sure you put adcom1 equals 7 you can see that can you adcom1 equals 7 that sets port A and E to digital because I've connected my read write line to the processor I have to turn the pin uh, down to ground so it's low port E.2 that's where I've got the RW port set pause it gives a um, tenth of a second for the LCD to start up Right, and you might have seen in the other videos you see I'll use a loop so LCD out dollar uh, FE comma one clears the screen dollar FE comma two uh, returns home pause Look, LCD out pick tutorial that's it if you had had a display pick microcontroller type in LCD out whatever you want in these um, punctuation marks that's it it will display it I've got a pause for two seconds dollar fee uh, comma one clears the screen again LCD out dollar fe comma dollar c zero uh, clears the screen starts the display on the second line which is where you saw LCD demo part one clearing the screen again just putting a random character right this is a scrolling text uh, so I equals I so if I think you look at some of the other tutorials for this I haven't got time in this one B2 equals 128 to 207 step 1 so it's going to step the text from 128 to 207 uh, so you think well where are these numbers coming from right here's a drawing I prepared earlier you need the you need to know the, the display RAM address position so I've drawn this up earlier hopefully you can see it all there's, you think oh what are these numbers it's, it's actually all hexadecimal how do I convert hexadecimal to you know, binary numbers I understand use the calculator excuse me on so if I go standard that's the standard calculator in Windows 7 or Windows Vista go view programmer so if we go here for example so this is a hexadecimal address the first character the start address is 80 so in it's hexadecimal, you should start, click there, hex, actually, you can't actually see it, can you? Right, so, right, click, just clicking here, hex, hex is decimal, decimal, it's all binary, right, so we want hex, where well, the start address is 80, Start address is 80. Hopefully you can see that now. So we type in 80 here, and then move it from hex to decimal. We've got 128. So the start address for character one on the first line is actually 128. The 16th character, 8f. You can see there, can't you? So put it back to hexadecimal up here. Cancel. So we want. 8f. What on earth does 8f mean in decimal? So 8f hexadecimal. Click on decimal to convert it here. 143. So the display RAM address for the first line is 128 to 143. Uh, this is line 2. So cancel. So line 2, C0. You go, it's, uh, make sure you're on hex here. So C zero, change it to decimal. We've got 192. So the start address for line two is 192 to C F. So cancel back to hex C F back to decimal 207. So what do we have? 190, 192, whatever it was, to 207. Right, yeah, view, science, standard scientific programmer. Don't know if you know you had that, but there you go. Don't need that anymore. Have a quick look at that. You might want to copy it down if you're messing about the scrolling text. Well, I've got to hurry up, otherwise you won't get any of this in. Right, there we go. So for B2, 128 to 207. So we're starting at the beginning of the first line and ending on the last uh, address of the second line.